Hello everyone and welcome to the Black Country Living Museum for a Peaky Blinders Night Special. For this event, we will going back to the Roaring Twenties, dressed like the Great Gatsby style, dancing to Charleston and hearing stories about the life at the time with a nod to the Peaky Blinders, a famous Birmingham gang in the Twenties. I'll be taking you on a long walk with music and entertainment in every corner. So I am done speaking. Enjoy the walk. Do you want to play this game? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
when you go out at the back. Can you open that door for me? <laughs> Let's all light it. There you go. people were not dressing like this this is like great Gatsby they did not yeah, dress yeah, like yeah. this they dressed like this because they were still wearing the old Edwardian clothes with the skirts down to the ankles yeah. you know and aprons and underskirts and usually in the day that's exactly how we're dressed oh, okay so um, when we do Peaky Blinders we have to change a little bit so so we don't normally wear makeup either. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's lovely. And um, because you're interested, the lady, that lady there, yes. Lillian, she's got to be about 18 now, but this is her, aged 92, and that was in 1996. Wow. And she came back to the museum, that's that chair there behind you in that back shop, because she came to tell us how things were set up when she lived here when she was a kid. Wow. So this, this was her home for many years. So. Wow. <laughs> but you feel free to have a nose. And usually we've got the fires on in the day, so if you ever come back okay. in the day, it's really good. Isn't it? <laughs> What's your name? I'm Dawn. Dawn. Yes. Nice to meet you. Oh, you're welcome. 
Uh, so you've not been to the museum before? I, I've been, but like in 2013, so it was quite a long time. Okay. Yeah. What accent have you got? French. French. Yeah. I thought so. Yeah. Je parle un petit peu de français. I speak French. You speak uh, <laughs> French as well. <laughs> you speak well. And she used to sleep there. That was, yeah, that was her room. You stand there. Oh, okay. You see, that was her bedroom. And um, we were a family of four living here. Okay. So where they were sleeping? Where did... So, um, uh, le maman. Uh, <laughs> so le maman. Um, elle avait un très enfant. Three? 13 children. Ah, 13. Oh. 13. On here, it yeah. says she had nine children. But in those days, they would knock on the door and ask how many people live here. The sense, but on uh, the sense. day that they knocked, it must have been that she'd had children and they died. So they never actually made it to go on the electoral roll. Oh, okay. But she actually had 13 children, which is sad. Well, four children is a lot of children to, to lose, yeah. you know. For sure. So, yeah. She hmm. had a, so she, uh, what, uh, when did she die? This lady. Yeah. I don't know, actually. Okay. I don't know. Um, because she died in 96. 96. So it could have been in the 40s. Oh, okay. Maybe a long time ago. Yeah, watch the candle. I don't want you to set on fire. <laughs> Thank you for the information. That's okay. Thank you. Have a great time. Thank you. You too. Oh, wow. Bye, Hello. The risk of the job, <laughs> I guess. Interesting history. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Recommend 
one person can do anything that's wrong. It's your house. <laughs> it's not mine. I just borrow it for occasions. <laughs> but you notice how badly tilted it is. Yeah. It's sort of like a sort of mining subsidence, what we call a pit pool cottage. Because it was built okay, but then the pit pool ran under it. Because of course when you follow in a seam of coal, you don't know what's upstairs. <laughs> they don't they weren't quite so bothered. Whereas now you have to map exactly where you're going. Um, yeah, so a lot of the cottages suffered from mining subsidence. So that's what happened with this one. Okay. So they use the candles as a light? Yeah, I mean, there's these beautiful gas lamps as well. Okay. But for tonight, I'm only here till 8 o'clock and then I'm moving down to the village. So we just look for, we light a few candles. Okay. But yeah, I mean, it was all candle and gas lamps. That's what we do with the kiddies. We're taking around the little ones. We'll ask them to try and find a light switch. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. I did this one already. Ah, okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, 
but is the back marker and being driven along. So they go then towards the next. They come to it, there's two on the outside by half a length. Four, driven along on the inside in second, a slight mistake in third by eight. And then the pink jacket of seven, followed by three. Then towards the wide outside is one, five, and six is still last. Midway down the back straight, going over the fifth from home. And it was two who led four, eight on the inside. One is now shaken up and has got four. Short run now towards the next, and over that one it was two who led four and pulled up at the back of the field before that fourth from home was horse number six. Horse number six has been pulled up. This is the third last, and it will be two who will lead. Two led, four over in second, one third, eight was over in four, followed then by five who's on the outside of three, and also at the back of the field is seven. And now all of a sudden it's the four who goes to home. The hat trick seeking four is out in front. One has got second, five the old boys staying on to get third, and then the long time leader, two, followed by seven, three, and eight. So they make the run towards the final quarter mile, and they've just got the two lane pencils to take, and it's four horses in great form at the moment. Comes to the second from home, the lead was a length and a half, over in second was five, a blunder by one in third, and then two on the outside of seven, as they race down towards the final fence. And four is proving very, very hard to catch. It's five who is his nearest to Stewart. The final fence. 
four, length five. The lead was a length and a half. And now they sit down and settle down to find it out on the running. And it's four from five. And that's how they'll finish. Here's a horse in great form. If you back the four, more than awfully few. Five a second. And it's tight third. It's a photo between the two and the seven. Oh, there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of our uh, second uh, race of the night, number four, K. Loy, if you have a winning ticket, make your way down to see the uh, tote sellers for a certificate. Congratulations. <laughs> Not even reach way, sir. Thanks a lot for being my very first customers. Eight nights here at the Black, Black Country uh, Museum 2020. One. Thank you very much indeed. Enjoy Cow's Cats. Next door, Workers Union is it called? Pardon? Workers Institute. You tell I'm not from around these parts. And uh, on the dockyard, the Destroyers. Apparently an absolute fantastic Birmingham band. Yeah, if you want any photographs, ladies and gentlemen, very, very welcome. For the rest of the evening, folks, have a fantastic time. Thank you, you're all are welcome. It's them far, but it's only the main ones now. Well, there is some.
give an appraiser anyway. Small scale operator? Small time operator? Small.
actually into buying some samples for personally. But uh, as I've always said, if I was to go for one of these bikes, if I was interested in and wanted one, I would go for the the small AJS 1929 one there. Oh. Because I love the colour scheme, I love the red, the petrol tank. Um, and, and the fact that it's simple as well. Yes. Yeah. Because I'm not very tall. <laughs> <laughs> You sell clothes here? Yeah. Are you just for, for the presentation? Do you sell? No, we, the items for sale here, no. Um, so everything you see there is, is for sale. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Not this one, more less than what we've got. It's got a paddies on. <laughs> okay. Jack. Yeah. So have you have you got a nice a nice young fella that you could buy something for? Uh, you can impress him. He was with me. Away. The thing is, you should get him in here. Yeah. I'll still be cases as well. Look. Oh yes. You got like these. You got like these. More. You got like them. Oh, they're wicked. They are. Look at them. So when you open them, what are they like inside? That's a bit like that one, I presume. Yeah, mm. look, a bit like that. That is wicked. There you go, a little panel there that you can get and buy the grab one. I can engrave in thing. So to me, that one is.
potentially that we can to increase the size of the museum. We've got to start, we, got to, we already do 1940s work hours. We'll be able to extend that because we'll have the the 1950s and 1960s.
I thought of including a clip showing the shop 
And we almost reached the end of the video, so I hope that you enjoyed the walk. Thank you for watching the video and see you next time.